All right, let's go ahead and load back in. And switch my TV over so that I can see the appropriate input. And see if we get any, uh, any new pictures. That's going to be a no to start with. Any new pictures. And you know what? I just realized that I forgot to uh, plug my uh, headphones into the right thing. Give me a second. So I am not getting uh, game audio myself. Should not affect you guys. And no, no, uh, no new pictures. No uh, new pictures. Thanks, game. Thank you. All right, I completely forget what we were gonna, what I was gonna do. Uh, this was gonna be the last regular uh, session for Dragon Quest Builders. Um, I think next week we'll uh, we'll be doing something else instead. I may still do some streams of this. A lot of it will depend on whether I end up playing very much of this uh, on my own. Part of the problem is I don't have a whole lot of time for that, so... It's just uh, one of those things, so we'll see kind of how it goes. Um, we got some good, uh, good progress. Didn't get everything as uh, built as I would have liked, but uh, it happens. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a dental appointment for you, Bahamut Zero Dragon. I hope that's just a regular dental appointment, like cleaning, as opposed to, uh, oh my god, I need a root canals kind of thing. Because uh, that's just not fun. Hey, Canis Rufus UK, thank you for the resub. Four months. I appreciate it. Alright, one thing that I did want to do is check out some of the other, um... Islands. You can visit some uh, islands that other people make, and I do want to do that because I haven't done that at all. So, uh... <laughs> you mean you're Thursday? <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, the good news about uh, having had five root canals myself, uh, the thing that uh, I found about them is that the procedure itself and afterwards really isn't too bad other than your mouth just feeling weird, whereas... Uh, it really is the the lead up to it that is an awful awful time. Just just an awful awful time. Well, I have a lot of dirt. I could do uh I could do some swapping here and uh get all this into uh, regular dirt for the moment. And eventually get it to be uh grass. Um is there anything that I had partially finished besides the castle that I was... Hello, how's it going? Ah, it's cleaning, yes. Cleanings are, are not so bad. So glad you have strong teeth, Shadow Mousy. Oh, you're, you're really lucky. I, I got my dad's teeth, and uh, uh, that means that they're essentially chalk. They're, they're about that strong. It's uh, It's not great. It really isn't. It, uh, it really does suck. Stupid teeth. I blame our ancestors. Um, it's all their fault, really. You know, they had to go and evolve having weak teeth so they could have bigger brains and stuff like that. And really, it's just rude. Did we ne really need that? What's today's project, Lil Bunny? I don't really have one. Um, this is gonna be the, uh... The last regular Dragon Quest Builder stream. So one thing that I do want to do is go check out some other uh, people's islands, and we'll do that in a moment. That they have on the uh, based on those uh, pictures. Be kind. Of, I think it'll be pretty laggy, but uh, be pretty interesting too. Why didn't we get self-replacing teeth and logical spines? You know what uses bigger brains, and so few members of humanity use them. I know exactly. Especially when, uh, our teeth are so awful. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. Let's just start with that uh, dirt there.
All right. So also, uh, this stream will be the um, will be the second time it's been available. Uh, it's not available during Spelljammer, but uh, I've set up a new um, channel point thing for uh, redeeming uh, some of your points. It's Ham for History. You turn in your hams, and you can get a little bit of history. Uh, the oh, oh that's all of the uh, the dirt that I had. That's fine. Uh, the book in question today, and I will plan to swap the books uh, stream to stream. And uh, the book this time is Before the Muses, an anthology of Akkadian literature by Benjamin R. Foster. It should be D&D history. Oh, no, no, no. This is this is real history. And uh, Kijikun has one uh, stored up that I will need to uh, uh, take care of. But uh, there is uh, Ab Cody... Uh, doing one right there. So, after this first one, I will give you guys a, a choice of what you want to a certain extent by giving you a page number. Uh, this book is a thousand pages long, plus. So, you have lots to choose from randomly. Um, but in this case, uh, this is an old Akkadian letter uh, from a give or take around 2000 BC. So, it's about 4,000 years old. And uh, this letter reads, Thus says Ishkun Dagon to Puzur Ishtar, By Ishtar in Alaba, Ashagi in Ninhursag, By the king's life and by the queen's life, you must swear it. So long as you have not seen my eyes, may you swallow, swallow neither food nor drink. Also, so long as you do not come to me, do not sit on a chair. Basically, it's, it's a uh, letter saying, Get your butt over here right now. And I love it. Um, that same exact person has another letter in this on the very next page. Uh, and this is right around the time of a uh, another piece, which was uh, basically a parody of Sargon of Akkad's, uh, Sargon the Great's um, personal... Uh, self-aggrandizing uh, uh, descriptions on his uh, fantastic military exploits, and it was a parody. It's great. But yes, so basically that was a letter telling someone to get their butt over to them right now. 4,000 years old. Yep. Probably a little bit more. Alright, let's, uh, let's head up to the mountaintop and see what uh, some other islands have to offer. And uh, I'll uh, I'll do one I'll do yours in a little bit Kijikun. I just don't want to like do them all close together. So probably about uh, fifteen minutes or so. People haven't tried changed much. You know that's the fun thing about reading a lot of this material is that you really do learn that people have not changed much. Uh, there's a traditional castle we could look at. That's pretty cool. But, uh, we should probably go look at the, uh, all-time snaps. I mean, why not, uh, take a look at, uh, some of the, the islands that, you know, people have really put a lot of work into and are quite popular. It's time to head off to Rimasa's Island. Save your progress and continue? Sure. Why not? The points won't let you redeem them? Hmm. Have you tried a different browser? Trophies cannot be earned, even if you satisfy their conditions. The save feature is disabled. Download complete. It's time to set sail for Rim Masa's Island. Oh, it might be, uh, it might be the mobile thing, then. Yeah, I don't know about that. You can, and you're on mobile. Then I don't know. Well, that is, uh, just, just come right in under the, uh, the stairs. Okay. Probably should have, uh, eaten something, but we'll do that in a bit. Huh. I have not seen those. I wonder if these are, uh, related to some other things that, uh, 
You do. Oh, you know what? I meant to check the uh, the trophies to see if uh see what I had. So the interesting thing about uh, um, visiting these islands is that you can actually take things from them and uh, keep them. Go for a little swim. We got a, a canal here. We cannot go under this canal. I, I see different levels of the water, and it it it's it's triggering me. It needs to be fixed. Yeah, it might be uh, the the mobile platform. Maybe uh, it doesn't work on Android or um, iOS or something. I don't know. I haven't I haven't looked into it. Uh, do you have a computer, a laptop, or something nearby that you could just uh, pop open and use them that way? Huh. Let's just uh, eat some wet salad. Okay, that's that's just a uh, it's just a floor there. Interesting. Where exactly are we? Oh wow, that is uh, they really landscaped that part. How does one eat underwater? Um, it gets pretty wet. Hey, Lord Inquisitor Inquisitor Tazarin, how's it going? Using a laptop to watch the stream. It doesn't work on that. Huh. Well, maybe that's just the uh, the browser. Uh, try it with uh, Chrome or Firefox or something. I don't know. Kind of an empty uh, house there. You can uh, after the stream if we if you still haven't gotten it working. Um, if you want, we can putter around and, and try to figure out what's going on. Is that just? Yeah, that's just uh, dyed wood for the floor. It's a interesting interesting choice. It's very orange. Or yellow, not orange. What am I talking about? Hmm. You can't take that out of there. Let's go check out this uh, giant cathedral. Well, that is a that is a really big bookshelf there, isn't it? Nothing there, nothing there. <laughs> Believe in laptoppers uh, might be uh, sentient and trolling you. Holy cow, Lel Bunny! I I think we found uh, a place for you to live forever. I mean, it it lacks kitties, but. That's a... Uh, that's a lot of bookshelves. That is a lot of bookshelves. Uh, so what was your, your yummy breakfast there, Lord Tazarin? See, I thought this was gonna be a... like a cathedral. This is a cathedral, uh... to books. Holy cow! This is, uh, this is very big. It needs cats. <laughs> Prime rib fat bits fried in butter, two eggs fried in the uh, butter beef fat, and uh, two English muffins toasted in a toaster, and then finished in said butter fat mix with pineapple preserves on both of them. Um, I, I approve of the butter. It also sounds really, uh, really fattening. Which I suppose is what uh, breakfast should be, isn't it? Seriously, you haven't you haven't shut off the uh, the ghosties. I thought I saw something over here. Oh, it was to sit down there. This is a lot of books. This is a lot of books. <laughs> the best kind of cathedral. I like that we're actually getting the uh, the up high sounds here. Wee! 
out. That was intentional. Let's take a look outside. It is very symmetrical. You need some doors, though. You know, keep out the, uh... Keep out the weather. It's gonna get all kinds of insects in there. just, you know, right up against the, uh, the beach as well. What did they do up top? Is that just, uh, I guess that's just using the various fence pieces. I want to jump over those parts. Why can't I jump over those parts? But yeah, it is a nice uh, nice little uh, uh, town they got going on here. Let's see what they did uh, in the other parts of the island. Well, they didn't destroy the boat like I did. Looks like they plan to uh, build more over here. that there. Take a look around. Got a lot of trees. What do they end up doing uh, over here? Just just a really basic uh, um, defense area. Not not much in the way of uh, like special special protections really. Beachberry. This is a lot of gold tiles. That's uh, a very interesting way of, of doing this. Oh, what the heck do they have down there? Is this just... I guess they were just making the room bigger. They really didn't do anything extra with the, uh, the castle other than just like the minimum needed to complete the stuff. And, uh, that is... That is a lot of poison there. I don't know why they have so much poison there. There's a lot of poison. It is really interesting to see what people did with the various town parts that they, uh, they had to do. Wow, that is a tiny room. Go and take all the gold. Well, I, I, I do have an infinite supply of gold, so I don't really need the gold. Small, cool hallway. You can see that they... Uh, they just put some stuff down to make sure that there were uh, enough tiles there. Yeah, they were just doing the minimum required to uh, do some of that stuff. What did they do over here? Let's see. More of these, like, really narrow rooms. It's... I really do find it fascinating what people end up doing to, uh... Holy cow, there's a lot of, uh, killing machines. Jesus! There's a lot. Also... Gonna take their cotton. I'm not actually taking their cotton, though. That's just, like... Uh... I mean, I've basically created a clone of their world, and uh, I can take almost anything that I want from it, I think. 
think I can take it back. Uh, um, um, what? Okay, there's a hole there. Did not intend to fall down there. <laughs> Ended up filling in this area with uh, water, probably just letting it flow around. It's interesting. We need to have a haunted beachberry over on Ellie's Isle. We know some nice ghosts who we can invite over to. I suppose I could do that. At some point. But, like I said, this is going to be the uh, the last of the uh, regularly scheduled streams of this. They just kind of like filled in this... Uh, just let the water go every which way here. I wonder why. I'm not even sure if they ever uh, found this place. Well, no, they must have found it. <laughs> Rafting down that might be fun. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. There's a piece of a floating cactus. Yeah, this is, again, just, like, minimum requirements to do the rooms. What, uh, can I see how many, uh, rooms there actually are in this place? Not really. I don't think. Oh, nope, it has exactly 100 rooms. That's why there's some doors missing. And they, they just, like, <laughs> cleared that out. So much gold, I know! Hey, fake Brittany. Who even has a crappy sword? Oh! Oh! It wounds me! It's terrible. What do they do with the, uh, with the peak up here? Let's see. They just went with the, uh, the dome thing. Just laid down track inside. Whose room is this? Oh, it doesn't say. Alright. Just did a couple rooms inside. Wow, they did, like, nothing in here. That's kind of sad, honestly. I mean, I guess they just basically, you know, was like, "All right, let's just do all the work uh, immediately." What you what what they wanted to do themselves. Um. Uh. Well, I guess that's uh, one way to do it. Just spawn all the uh, animals and let them die. <laughs> I was wondering what all the f what all the uh, grass over here was. There's a little tiny bed there. I will take the uh, the meat. Yeah, it's just it's just a spawning ground to uh, generate meat. I suppose that's uh. One way to do it. Alright, let's return to the teleportal. Can these NPCs talk to you? Uh, I don't know. I guess we could test. Um... Let's find out. Uh, I think they count as, like non-named NPCs or something, and they, they don't, uh... They don't actually have conversations. 
yeah, they uh, they just have like the normal conversations for a, a character of their type. Has bacon-flavored popcorn ever been invented? I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Uh, like the Builderdom's best locations? Kinda, yeah. Go ahead and return to your own island. Like, I, I don't think that the, uh... The Brittany here is... is Counted as Brittany kind of thing. But I do like that they... Like, some of these islands have don't have anyone wandering around on them. That I've seen. And that's kind of a shame. On the other hand, if you don't put them, you know, if you don't build this stuff over, you know, around where they are, then they're not going to wander around at all. Alright, so where is my oil? I didn't, okay, I, you can pick it up, but you don't actually get to take it home. Uh, I was wondering about that, because I got up to like, uh, 104, and I had a bunch of, uh, regular meat. So that's kind of disappointing. It's kind of disappointing. I guess it makes sense. So you can't just like early on go to one of these places and just smash everything and get unlimited resources. On the other hand, when you're in post game, I kind of feel like you should be able to do whatever you want. All right, Kijikun, since you had redeemed uh, one earlier, pick a page between let's just say 1 and uh, 1044. I'll give you a moment to uh, think about that. Actually, did that... I'm not sure that I... Did I really go through 100% uh, food already? That's a little bit high there, Kijikun. 1044. Which is the index, so... Subtract a few pages from that. <laughs> no worries. Well, so, Lel Bunny, these are all just... Um, when you go to one of these, you're just going to a, a clone of it. You're not going to the actual one. Uh, let's look for other ones that we can actually go to. Temple Shrine Room. Hey, that seems interesting. Let's go to that one. Page 50. That might be a little bit too early, but I will find out. That is not too early. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, this is a uh, translation of a text called The Valorous Sun. And it is about the, uh, the sun god Shamash. Imposing doorbolt of the sky, most exalted of the gods, whom heaven relies on, Shamash the sun, who holds in his hand the life of the land. He is the king's right arm, and uh, the tablet breaks off a little bit there. The beloved of Ea the leader. God of joyful occasions, shining light, fiery radiance, awe-inspiring splendor of the depths. Vanguard of the Anuna gods. He it is who gives overpowering strength and fierce weaponry to young men. And I actually meant to go to this island, not to... Uh... Let's go there, while this loads up. Uh, Daylight Chief Herald on the Mountain Ranges, Herald of the Brightening Sky. It breaks off there. God of Gods, imposing light. He makes his rounds, keeping watch over the land by day and by night. The lands of Ea. He sustains campaigners and traveling merchants in foreign lands. The foreign lands render up lapis and silver to the traveling merchant. The cedar forest yields unworked timber, boxwood, cypress, standing tall like splendid standards fit for a nobleman to adorn his house. He loads his barge and aromatics oils honey, the goods that merchants bring, and incense of the gods, juniper, almond, and some sort of oil. Awe-inspiring splendor lights up the bison of the sun. His radiance he sheds afar, the joy of Enlil, the great courtyard. He fills the copper, gold, silver, lapis, the wide courtyard of his temple. And the rest of the uh, text kind of breaks off. So that's basically a... Uh, uh, a lit liturgical piece. 
um, talking about uh, how wonderful the uh, god Shamash is. And as for actually inviting people over to your island, the, um... Uh... Holy cow. That is pretty high up. What does that say? I have a feeling that, that is supposed to be in Japanese. This is, uh, rather high up. So we are there. They, uh, once again, they built stuff there. Alright, before we take a look at all of that, I think that we want to go... I want to go check out what they've done on the other parts of the island first. So I'm always curious what people have done. Okay, so it looks like they're, they were just here trying to, uh, you know, get the... the fulfill the, the thing about uh, having enough different tiles. There's some uh, puppers. A dog joins Ellie's team. Um... Okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. We will just call you Pupper. No, I don't think I can keep him. I don't think I, t I can take him home. So they, uh... They did their, uh, spa thing right here with just a very basic room. Kind of disappointing. All kind of... This looks like it was just... They were just trying to get all the flowers planted. He wants to go with you. Well, too bad. Yeah, once again, they, they really did not do anything with the, uh... With the castle. They did make a pretty nice throne room. I, I, will, I will grant them that. And a bedroom there. But just kind of like basic, basic stuff, just to get the, uh, the requirements met. Uh, I guess they want people to see the fancy right when they get there. That is true, but... Like, I, I really like seeing what people have... Yeah, like, it... it if someone's just going for, like, sculptures and stuff like that, I, I get it. Um, but if someone's going for a, a town setup, I kind of want, I would want people in it, rather than it just being, you know, like, dead. And not having anyone around it. Uh, okay. See where this goes. I mean, this is at least an interesting little uh, building that they've got here. No, don't climb on that. Um. Okay. Interesting. Is there... There's, like, no actual way in and out of this area. Weird. I'm gonna be highly critical of uh, people not doing more with their actual village areas. Love how you're collecting stuff you can't keep. I know, I just want it. Oh my lord, they just filled this entire area up with water. I have definitely gotten the impression that a lot of people did not realize that you could use this and your uh, your people would, would do stuff there. 
Our castle needs pumpkins too. Alright, let's see. So they got some uh, just basic fields outside. Alright, well that's at least interesting. Um, why do I get the feeling that that is the toilet from uh, from Crumble Dunn? It is the holy toilet. And that is that is reasonable, you know. Worship the toilet, the uh, the first toilet that you get, first actual toilet. Okay, now this is a pretty impressive little bar. I, I like the uh, Slime King knights uh, lights. Giant skull on the wall. Just stuff. A cheeky room. Someone who I've uh, made jitter. On the other hand, these are just pretty basic rooms here. Yeah, like here, they they were just trying to get this to be suitably blingy, it looks like. Get the fanciness up. Okay, well, they got an enormous dance hall, which is something that I have not made yet. Small study room. Wait, this is normal? How is this just normal? There's plenty of flamboyant stuff in there. Well, they did more in here than they did than uh, some of the other people have, so I appreciate that. Uh, they just rebuilt the. Um, the gold bar, or the silver bar, here. Alright. Let's go uh, take a look at the stuff that they've actually made. A disco inferno room. Oh, and, uh, oh. Oh, okay. I see how. I see how you're supposed to get back up there. Ow. All right, let's go check out the uh, the airship first. It's uh, pretty blingy. Well, that's actually kind of interesting. Makes for an interesting decorative thing. Uh, actually, I kind of like the uh, the planter there as as this tower base. It's a very tall tower of marble. It looks like some walls, <laughs> like something from a Final Fantasy game. Yeah. Definitely more so than uh, Dragon Quest. All right, it's a big empty, uh, empty hall, hold area. Not a whole lot going on down. No, I didn't want to go back down there. Okay, there is an interior of sorts. Okay, nope. There's nothing in there. Was expecting a little bit more. Take a look around the outside. Okay, I like the uh, the propellers there. That's actually pretty cool. Ow! Ow! My butt. My legs. Very empty uh, room in here. It's, but it's a lot of uh, umbrellas. 
Need more Final Fantasy stuff. Speaking of which, what's everyone's favorite Final Fantasy game? Four is definitely my favorite. Um, seven is my least favorite, and uh, that that will definitely. Uh, oops, didn't actually mean to uh, do that. That will uh, definitely annoy some people, I'm sure. I don't know about people here, but I'm sure it will annoy some people. What do we have over here? Anything interesting? Hmm. I think I would have liked this to actually be a bridge rather than just a solid platform. Um. Hmm. So we got a wall of water here. Just, you know, a wall of water, as you do. Uh, why is 7 my least favorite? Um. There's a lot of reasons. Um. One of them being that I was expecting certain things and it did not deliver. That is that is part of it. I did not like the setting, I did not like the characters, I did not like the uh, engine, I did not like the graphics. So, basically everything. <laughs> yeah, when, when there's just like no people wandering around and no furniture in the buildings either, it, Th this is why it's, it's like, if I was going to build something like this, it would definitely be in one of the areas that we have people. You know, or a, a builderdom, you know, one of the uh, buildertopias. Because I would definitely want to have people wandering about, making it look lived in. And that is clearly in Japanese. Can't keep me out. Wow, this is just a big square empty room. Okay, it's not so empty once you turn around, but uh it's odd. There's a lot of marble here on the ground. Guess they're afraid people will leave if they don't see nice stuff. Well, I mean, considering that you're you're choosing to come over and look at it based on a picture, I would hope people would look around. I mean, I like what they did with these uh, these towers, but also uh, this is not what I was expecting from the picture either. Which uh, the picture might be one of the. Uh, the Buildertopias, as opposed to, um... Uh, as opposed to the Isle of Awakening. That might be uh, what's going on. Let's go ahead and just sail around a little bit. I mean, they didn't really do anything with the uh, area up here. But this is definitely not what I was expecting. Did they really just go with the basic one? They just went with the basic one. Ah. Oh. So disappointed. Alright, well. Let's get back. Uh, the Harry Hermit was not there. False advertising, yeah. S totally false advertising. Next town, once I have bounced my way back up to the top. No. I mean, there's some interesting things going on there, but... Well, that's new. Hmm. 
That is a rather impressive looking uh, flying bus. I think someone did some changes to the uh, underground area. Can one of our NPCs travel between portals with us? I don't believe so. 